Hi guys, welcome back. This is Maths 3000. Today I'm going to go over some exam questions on working out the area of a circle. So to work out the area of a circle you need to know the formula A equals pi times the radius squared. So A is the area, that symbol there is pi, R stands for the radius. So when you're working out the area you need to put the radius into the formula. So let's have a look at the first question. A circle has a radius of 8 centimetres. Work out the area of the circle. Give your answer in terms of pi. So if we write our formula down first, which is pi times r squared. All you need to do is substitute the radius into the formula. So the radius is the distance halfway across your circle. So that number there is our radius. So we just put that into our formula here. So it would be pi times 8 squared. This looks like a non-calculated question because it says do the answer in terms of pi. So 8 squared is 8 times 8 which is 64. So we get pi times 64. And you can write that down as 64 and then just put the pi straight after it. So that is your final answer. So let's have a look at our second question. So a circle has a diameter of 9 metres. Work out the area of the circle. Give your answer correct to one decimal place. So this time you're given the diameter, that's the distance all the way across. So remember you need to put the radius into the formula. So we need to half the 9. So 9 divided by 2 is 4.5. So this is the number you substitute into the formula. So if we write our formula down, so it's going to be pi times, so we're going to put that 4.5 into the formula. So this is looking like a calculator question, so you're best off just typing that in on the calculator. There's no need to work out 4.5 squared. Just let the calculator do the work. So we go shift times 10 times 4.5x squared. Pressure equals, so that's the exact answer. If we SD it, we get the answer as a decimal. So it's got to be to one decimal place, so it's 63.6 metres squared. Let's move on to our third and final question. So this one's a little bit harder to do. Um, so A is the shape of a quarter circle of radius 15 centimetres. B is the shape of a circle. The area of A is 9 times the area of B. Show that the radius of B is 2.5 centimetres. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do then is work out the area of this quarter circle here. So you can do this by working out the area of the full circle. So to work out the area of the circle we do pi times r squared. So this number here would actually be the radius of the full circle. Because you've got to imagine that's the full circle there and that's halfway across. So that's the number we put into our formula. Okay, so if we put that in on our calculator, you get shift pi times 5 squared. Sorry, 15 squared, wasn't it? Which is 225 pi. So that's the area of the full circle. So to work out the area of the quarter circle, we need to divide that answer by 4. I've left it as an exact answer because it's just easier to do rather than having nasty decimals. So if we divide that by 4, that will give us uh, 225 over 4 pi. So that is the area of our quarter circle. 
So it says the area of A is 9 times the area of B. So if we divide this answer by 9, that will give us the area of circle B. So it's 225 over 4 pi divided by 9. So I've left that on the calculator, so I don't have to type it in again. So that will give us 25 over 4 pi. So we now can work out the radius of circle B because we know the area. Okay, so if we use our area formula again, so we know 25 over 4 pi is equal to pi times r squared. So we've got to solve this equation here to work out the value of r. If you notice we've got a pi on both sides so we can divide both sides of our equation by pi so they cancel out. So we get 25 over 4 equals r squared. And then the opposite to a square is a square root. So we need to square root 25 over 4. And that gives us 5 over 2. If we SD it, you get 2.5. And I think that's what they said in the question. So it says show that the radius of B is 2.5. And that's it. So it's quite a lot of work really because it was a three mark question that was. So it's quite a difficult one for three marks. So I hope you like this video. If you did, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.